Hey, welcome back. I hope everybody is having a great Saturday. And thank you so much for joining me talking all things Masters of the Universe. Today in the channel, guys, we're looking at the final for now. Origins vs. Masterverse figure, taking the same figure for both brands. Looking at the figure through the packaging, all the items they come with, the artwork, and so forth. All you know, If I do have a loose version, taking a look at the loose figures as well. And just asking the question, which one do you prefer? Do you prefer the Masters look, or the Origins look, or both, or maybe the particular figure? You don't. So, it's been a lot of fun. Just a little recap, of course. We did look on the channel, okay, to Roboto, right here. Then, we looked at Whiplash. And yesterday, on Friday, we looked at the final figure, which was Ram Man. Right there. All right. Now, of course, if you are new to my channel or first time watching, I hope you will subscribe. Uh, thank you for doing that. I uh, hope everyone hits that like button, and thank you guys so much for doing that. It helps me out. Um, hit that notification bell when you know I upload new videos. And please, share this video who has a passion and a love for collecting all things Masters of the Universe. Without further ado, let's take a look at Clawful, okay? And we'll start with his Masters look right here, his uh, deluxe version. And the, there he is, in the packaging. There he is. All right, so of course you have the 30 points of reticulation, the old school Masterverse logo here. Of course, big window box right here. It comes with some extra armor for his back. There's the figure himself. Looks absolutely amazing. That big claw comes with an extra armor too for the front. His signature uh, green uh, club or weapon. Uh, that's an extra like shoulder pad or elbow pad right there or um, armor. A shield, which is very curious, all right, and he does come with a shield, all right, a little weird, but he does come with a shield. You have the Master of the Universe uh, logo, New Eternia, Clawful. Looks absolutely amazing. All right, around to the side. The nice glamour shot right here, a vintage style, Clawful here. No armor, what we've known and love about Clawful right there. Great, great, beautiful artwork right there. Of course, the back has more of his um, new attorney look with the armor, and you can see in the back, in, in the back of him, that extra um, part of him or like um, skin. I don't, I don't know what you call this. You know, the back right here, this extra part of of, of clawful here, um, maybe extra armor, I guess you call. But you can see right there in the background the artwork right there, bright, beautiful. The warrior with the grip of evil. I'll pause that. Where's the cross cell of the other figures in this particular wave? From from Merman to Eternia, Faker. Of course, the other side just, just has Clawful. The warrior with the grip of evil. Alright. As you know, I mean, and this is, I mean, absolutely beautiful. You know, beautiful big box right there. You can see the figure. It's the whole figure. You can see all the items it comes with. Absolutely amazing. All right. All right, let's move on to his Origins version. All right, his standard Origins version right here. There he is. Came out. There's a little Clawful right there. Came out in 2022. You got the Master of the Universe logo, Clawful, the Warrior of the Grip of Evil. You see the Red Rocks blasting around it. All right, make his dreadful claw grab and hold. Got the modern posing for retro play. And there's old Clawful right there. Vintage style, right right out of the 80s for more articulation, as we know. Of course, we, we do know that at some point, very soon, we'll be getting that cartoon collection of Clawful, that filmation style Clawful. And he's, that, that is a totally different version of Clawful, you know, as we know. I cannot wait to look at that version of Clawful and compare him as well. All right, put the round at the back. Was some absolutely amazing artwork of him taking on Tila. Some beautiful artwork. And you see Whiplash in the background. There's his action call out. Of course, the cross sell of the other figures in this particular wave. I think this was wave 9 or 10. But they had some, some really good heavy hitters here from Anti-Attorney He-Man, 
the sun first time retail sunman came out this time and horror trooper which was a great army builder with he-man and skeletor as well all right around and i do have loose versions of these particular both these two amazing figures here all right we can compare all right so let's start off with his masterverse version first so here he is right there it looks like an absolutely amazing right there Great face sculpt right there. Great detail. I mean, amazing detail. And I do have his more of his new attorney look with the armor in the back right there. Looks great. There's his extra um, like uh, extra armor for his arm right here. His arm is articulated. Okay. There's no there's no lever like we will we'll see with the origins version, but it is articulated. You, you can move it up and down. Okay, like that. Even his smaller claw right here is articulated as well, giving you, you know, that extra grip to grip the weapons or the shield if you wish on this figure but you can see great detail right there on him looks amazing great face sculpt right there uh, nice bright jewel even the even his boots i would say or his legs or feet have this really nice me metallic shine with him okay it looks great there's, there's the back of him overall a solid solid character really cool very cool all right let me get this guy right here all right. Now, the one thing I do have to say, and I think I brought this up in my original review of Clawful, is I don't really understand why they included a shield with him. Because, um, as we know, um, you know, Clawful has always been known for having the green, you know, club right there. You know, his, his signature thing was his claw. Maybe and I always thought this was a shield as well. You know, so I'm not too sure why they included. Now, as we know. You know, New Eternia is, is you know, um, concept art, you know, that is burning, has been brought to life to, for us collectors in figure form, right? These are new, you know, some early concepts of Clawful must have included a, a shield with him, all right? So for the first time ever, that's why they're including the shield with Clawful, all right? But still an, an amazing, amazing figure. All right, so there you go. I'm trying to make him stand right there. Turn on. All right, but there you go. Now on to his Origins version of Clawful. Is there he is right there? I mean, right. I mean, it looks right. I mean, I mean, Origins is nailing the 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 overall look and feel of, of these amazing figures, giving us making sure this doesn't hit that. You know that '80s style look of you know all the figures, inc including Clawful here. All right. It is a little. I'll make sure I don't hit the. Uh, there we go. But, I mean, look at him. I mean, it looks really cool. I love the, you know, the action call out right there with the claw right there. Like you saw, you saw with Vintage Style 80s version of Clawful. Right there. It would be nice if this was also articulated, giving you a little more extra, like, gripping, you know, for the, for the club, or for his club right there. With the great face sculpt right there. Great attention to detail of Clawful. All right. The armor looks great. Face sculpt looks amazing. Really, really good. I mean, really, really good. And I, like I said, I cannot wait to get that cartoon collection version of Clawful. I, a much different take on Clawful. You know, and that's something like I never really put two and two together. Like, I don't remember Clawful too much in the Filmation cartoon. I mean, it did show up a, a few times. But that's the one thing that I didn't really, like, click is the fact that you know, when we get the, you know, Mattel, when we get the retail version of Clawful, um, it, it, it's this, where, you know, the filmation style is a totally different look. And, you know, I never asked myself, like, you know, like, why is this different from the filmation cartoon? You know, why couldn't we just get... So, I don't know. I mean, I mean, it's cool. You know, I like the fact that they're giving us different brands, but I am also glad that we're getting that cartoon collection version of, of these figures, too, that, you know... So, you know, do you ever think about that? Do you ever think about, you know, when you watch... The filmation cartoon in the in the 80s you know and you saw a figure on that show and when you went to the store the retail store to you know add to your collection did you ever ask yourself why it was so different you know why did we get like like like, like clawful here you know why did we get this version of clawful and not the actual filmation style clawful you know that you know we saw on the cartoon but still an amazing figure all right so i'm sure i can get him standing right here so there you go so here's the question, um, which version of Clawful do you prefer? Do you prefer the Masterverse New Eternia look, or do you prefer the old school vintage style um, Origins look of Clawful? For me personally, 
I gotta give it to the Masterverse look. I mean, I love the extra detail. I like the fact that the, you know, the claw is articulated. Both claws are articulated. It looks amazing. I like the metallic looking, you know, paint job on his, on his feet or his, or his shoes or his boots. The extra amount of armor right here. It looks, you know, really, really good. All right. Everything about this figure looks absolutely amazing. The detail looks amazing. Don't get me wrong. This version of Clawful right here on the Origins version, um, classic, classic looking Clawful. I mean, right out of the 80s. I mean, they did an amazing job with the look. The overall, you know, action call out with his claw. Everything about him is like, I mean, vintage. Vintage, amazing Origins version. And I have no doubt that the cartoon collection is going to look, look amazing as well. All right, with that different style look and stuff like that. And I have no doubt also at some point we'll probably get a fan favorite version, you know, re release of Clawful, you know, for, the collect, for us collectors. All right. But for me personally, I have to give it to the Masterverse version for me personally. Let me know in the comments below if you want, you know, what version, you know, do you prefer? Do you prefer, like I said, the new Eternia Masterverse version or do you prefer the vintage style or both? I mean, there's no right or wrong here. We're all winners here. I mean, these are two amazing, amazing versions of Clawful and, uh, and all these other figures throughout the week we've been, you know, um, comparing, you know, from from Roboto, from Ram Man to Whiplash, for anybody, I mean, for any figure, you know, we when we continue to do this series here, I mean, we're all winners here, because these are two amazing brands here for us collectors for, of the Master Universe, all right? So there you go, guys, there's a look at Clawful, all right? One more spin around before we end the video. All right, so let me know. More shot right there, and I can say I, I do like this series, and I, and I will return to the series, you know, uh, at a later date. We'll do some more of comparisons of Origins versus Masterverse figures coming very soon. All right, sometime in the future, and at some point I would like to do comparisons of the Vintage Origins line to the Cartoon Collection line too. To, you know, taking two Origins figures, and which you know, do you prefer? Are you like an old school '80s version of the of this amazing line, or do you like the filmation style? figures all right but there you go all right guys i'd like to take the time now of course to thank my subscribers thank you so much for joining me today guys i really appreciate you guys taking a, a, a little time out of your out of your lives to come and join me today and and uh watching my videos i really appreciate you guys so much all right thank you of course hit that notification bell when you upload new videos and tomorrow i thought for the next couple days i'm going to do a top five mid-year uh review because as you know, it's now June. So basically, we're like halfway done with the month now, okay? We're almost near, I mean, June's almost over, okay? And it's, oh, 2024 is half over. And so there's a lot of brands. As you know, Origins has three brands out there, right? That I want to do top five figures so far that's been released for each brand, for, you know, for the next couple of days. And Masterverse, too. So I hope you will join me for that, all right? Let me know your thoughts and feelings. Um, about, you know, the uh, figures I've picked and chose, all right, for the mid-year, um, you know, best of um, lineup here, all right. So, I hope everybody has a great Friday, I mean Saturday, sorry, and I'll see you guys on Sunday. Take care, and have a good one.